so I've been actually cranking out Spectrum series after Spectrum series after Spectrum series banger after banger after banger after banger as they say and honestly I am not ashamed to post yet another one with one of my favorite diamond players from a recent memory honestly and you should also be aware of this player as well as we have in the bottom left side of Alcyone or shout out to Ace as he says it Alcyone we're gonna have from Team Devoid it is Sugar Cult the second more specifically fellow streamer and content creator love to see him play a beautiful TVZ against somewhat as you can see with one of the funniest names I've seen uh, I don't know it just sounds so funny when I saw it in the replay, I was like, okay, this is gonna be a good one, just based off of uh, off of the names. This is Carabobium. Oh, welcome back to Spectrum Series Season 5, guys. Hopefully, soon it'll be Season 6. ESL is in the off-season, as well as uh, preparing for some future stuff. As we see, we have a 15-15 opener here on the side of Sugar Cult. So yeah, if you're not aware of who I am, my name is Malzi, I represent the Platinum Heroes, and I am very excited to bring you yet another a very, hopefully very entertaining, very, very cool uh, TVZ over here. Just making sure that I am actually doing everything properly, so that's why the alt tab. Standard opener on both sides by the looks of it. Let's see how things are going to unfold here. Sugar will not send those... Uh, will not send those uh, drones down to mine. They will actually potentially go into the gas. A uh, bit of a late pull into the gas. And obviously it's a bit more. <laughs> That's a bit too much, Mr. Sugar called. But he fixes it instantly. Factory coming up pretty standard timing it's going to be a reaper into reactor actually no marine reaper into reactor and then we're going to have uh, the wonderful uh, factory as well so potentially hellion banshee maybe could be the case second command center will finish soon reaper gets caught beautiful catch here by the man from team the void now Sugar Cult is going to work on this command center, which is actually really, really nice. Sends uh, a couple of links across the map, and this is absolutely brilliant. Gets there just in the nick of time, just trying to delay this command center as much as possible. Roach Warren coming up. All right, so this might be Sugar Cult's fabled uh, nine Roach uh, pressure, if I'm not mistaken. Tech Lab onto that factory. I would say it is going to be... Oh, look at this. It's going to be a three racks. Do we have a starport? Yes, we do. So it's going to be a 3-1-1. There is a variation where you go multiple racks is no starport, but I think that's mostly against Protoss, but I'm not sure. Maybe there's something against Zerg as well, but the starport is just so good against Zerg. Like, you can absolutely have a blast with uh, multiple starports, basically. Uh, not, uh, yeah, well, multiple starports in the late game, but what I wanted to say, it's like multiple Raxes and a couple of starport units. Sugar sees the starport. Should be able to deduct what's happening. Lair coming up. Do we have any roaches? Nope. Was this a safety roach horn? Because usually I would say it is best to have the roach horn when you want to, to make some roaches. Or you want to get it a bit later. This was a 3 minute and 10 second roach horn, so very, very early. 150 minerals plus the 50 from the drone and the last mining time from that drone and etc etc you know uh it's not often that i go deep into the <laughs> into the things of this whole uh whole build order shtick but you know you gotta be aware of what you're doing with your with your uh stuff in the early game as the zerg now for the terran we have most likely some aggression coming up and stim has not yet started which is 100 percent a mistake i'm confident to say that there we go stim starts uh potentially like uh, 150 minerals later 
we got two mules that are being chopped and i believe a third command center could be on the cards at some point i'm gonna have four marines at a time no actually it's gonna be five marines at a time five marines a single tank and i don't see a a medevac coming up so i believe you should have like what um a couple medevacs here where's that viking that viking is roaming around the map trying to see uh, where there are some overlords and it's gonna find one let's see if sugar will pull the queens just in time that's gonna be the case potentially gonna pull away this overlord okay now he realizes but this overlord cannot be saved bit of a mistake here on the side of sugar called minus 100 minerals for uh, i would say no reason oh hey, look at this so what does sugar cult see sugar cult sees a 111 with no third command center and has no idea about the build order but if this is going to be some kind of a drop then it is going to be well protected here pretty sure a bit of an overkill i would say uh this third base is quite vulnerable so usually on this map when terrans cannot drop here they will try to drop in the third location if it's here in the triangle position same with this this overlord could be somewhere over here you know or maybe even here wouldn't mind that a couple of bailings coming up okay interesting oh queen gets taken down and this third base might just get sacked here let's see if another oh never mind a couple of things try to actually go into this but this is looking absolutely terrifying for trigger cult right now as he's losing drones left, right, and center, the tanks, the two tanks are actually putting up a, a huge fight. There's also a tank at home, so no potential for a counterattack just now. Liberator in production. And this is a bit of an anti-timing here with the, the combat shield. I believe this should have been a uh, stim combat shield timing. Spore is going to be taken down. <laughs> Oh, let's see. A couple of bailings as well here. And I'm curious. This is a... There's a roach worm here. Oh, let's see. Connections, 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 maybe. Close. Very close. Uh-oh. Marines are cornered. And it's a move command. Beautiful stuff here on the side of Sugar Gold. He just cleans up everything. Beautiful stuff here. He's going to be able to actually uh, replace his third base on the other side. Now the medevacs are actually empty so they cannot do anything the best thing that they could do is scout that there is a third base on this other side and that's pretty much it so we have nothing else left here for the terran player don't forget to hydrate super important spire and hydra then Mm, I am not a fan of this and also infestation bit so this is looking like a classic sugar called I panicked and I got every single building at once type of game I'm gonna have double expand on the side of sugar it's gonna expand to a fourth base the Terran command center uh, on the fourth uh, sorry the fourth command center is what I'm trying to say here is halfway done no upgrades yet whatsoever to speak of what uh, this is a huge mistake on the side of the terran if these upgrades were on the way or finished already and 2-2 was starting it would have been a extremely one-sided victory for the terran player but now instead of that we have 90 marines which i don't know if it's uh, great or not we see a bunch of minerals being uh stacked up here on the terran side that is usually the the case when the terran skips a macro cycle or two if you're not familiar with what the macro cycle is basically uh you have to you have to produce units every x amount of seconds right same with zerg you have to inject and spread creep okay stims forward we're going to continue that thought in a moment let's see if this third base is going to survive or not links coming in the queen is not targeted down Bailings are going to basically get around these marines and just touch them with a bit of that splash damage. And Sugar Call just conjures a, a defense of this. Those are 16 marines if I'm not mistaken and only 4 of them will uh, go back 
I live to see another day. The resources loss is actually... Um, I would say, even though the numbers say it's in favor of the third, this should be in favor of Sugar Cult, honestly. Considering that Sugar lost a base as well, and he never actually went across the other side of the map. Has no idea what's happening. We have double factory production. We have 1-1 one, one on the way. Blue Flame as well, so Terran also suffering a bit from the... Uh, I panicked and I'm getting everything at once. Potentially gonna get those for the Ling Bane. Investors are out. Now, we don't have a hive yet. So, I wouldn't mind if we would see a hive. I love the macro hatchery. So, he can spend his money. We're gonna go up to four bases. I would love to see a fifth, honestly. Oh, this is looking absolutely terrifying. Look at how many aliens and hellbats are here. My goodness, is this, a, this is the main army, right? This has to be the main army. Are those buildings rallied? Most likely they are. No, they're not rallied. Okay. So everything is being added. Liberator is potentially going to siege up, but it's in the wrong position. Hellbats will move forward. Drones are being saved. This is the correct call from Sugar Cult. And this base is going to be taken down for sure. Even the eggs are going to be taken down, which honestly is quite of a mistake. Oh. Let's see. We have... A couple of bailings going forward. Let's see. More bailings are going to destroy the Hellbats. And there's no support for these Hellbats. They tanked for nothing. Oh my god. The fungal. Extremely nice fungal here. But there was no follow up. No, no. Sugar is playing with my heart right now. My god. This is looking absolutely. Oh, juicy. Those fungals. But there's no follow up. Oh, he cannot actually hit the follow up. Oh, and now there's no more fungals left. This army is a bit bruised. Medivacs are as well. There's a couple of corruptors here. Literally a couple. Only two. I would love to see more. Because the Medivacs and the Liberators could be taken down quite easily. Now, all, obviously you can do that with the Hydras as well. But there's not enough Hydras here. There's, what, five Hydras? Six Hydras in uh, total. And there's another five coming in. This tank is not sieging up. This tank could siege up and basically be protected by the Liberators and the Hellbats. What is happening across the other side of the map? There's a new base forming right now. Fifth base on the way for the Terran. We have, I think I saw, yeah, four Widow Mines over here. Two additional command centers coming in. And this Liberator is being taken down. I'm not sure what the Terran is doing. It's going to unseize this Liberator, but... Oh, this is barely in time. Plus one missile is going to finish right now uh, as we speak. It's not even going to be needed. And everything just gets destroyed on the side of the Terran. Sugar just decides, okay, this is my time. Let's go. And he makes magic happen. Oh, but a couple of Widow Mines. Okay, Corruptor will tag that Widow Mine, sh widow mine shot. Now, the tank should be taken down over here. Oh, the investor is going to go down as well. The other one fires another fungal before being uh, rendered useless, basically. See, these Liberators will not stand a chance. Hydras and Corruptors as well, which we know is not a composition from our Lord and Savior Hearthstone. Still will manage to actually do the necessary, the necessary damage, so... Liber uh, supply depots are being taken down and it's it's funny that it's still not gonna supply block the the terran so we have a equal 44 army and worker supply on the side of our terran and potentially gonna have another fungal for the investor 25 energy more required do we have any tanks over here we have double we have double factory but i don't think we're gonna have any kind of tanks Oh, we can move forward. Nicely done here by Sugar. Oh, the SCVs are fighting, but there's a couple of feelings in the mix. Uh-oh. That is looking grim for our Terran player over here. And this is absolutely devastation. The Terran had this in the bag with sniping that third base really early on. That push looked very, very devastating. But the lack of timings gave Sugar Cult a chance to actually come back into this game. There are more command centers. One is building over here. I'm not sure why. There's a planet there with a couple of turrets and two liberators over here. 
Where's the other liberator? There's oh, there's both of them. In the meantime, Sugar Cult is on Hive Tech. Plus three, plus three, Adrenal Glance, plus two missile, triple evil chamber. Everything is coming together. We don't see. Oh, there's the Ultra then. I was gonna say, where's the Ultra then? Two more hatcheries. Beautiful stuff. Oh, the SCVs are gonna be taken down. 21 SCVs remaining. Potentially not even that many. Oh, the Marines are going to be basically just evaporated by these bailings. And the Drenal is not even finished. There's the GG. And Sugar will take this game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment. And of course, check out Sugar Called the Second. I'll have his stuff uh, linked down below in the description. I have also my stuff. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you had a great one. Hope your day was made at least a bit better. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. Cheers.